Now that we have our portfolio content entered via the Expression Engine um, control panel, we can go back to the template and update the bottom, the custom part of our portfolio section to make this content dynamic and updatable. Before we do that, just a quick note that in the last video we uploaded all of these contents and um, by accident had inserted in the wrong um, image was actually looking before at the static feature image which is not the correct image so we had to go back and change them all back to section header which is the correct one. Now it would be a lot easier to distinguish when you weren't using grayscale images um, but for this example that's what we have so um, that change did need to be made. <clears throat> now in our template manager if we come down to the portfolio and into the index of the portfolio we could see that we have all of these examples hard-coded. We're still going to need one of them to act as a loop template for the rest of them but we can delete <coughs> all of these five and just bring this one line down. Now by default we could kind of start with the previous entries tag the cool thing about Expression Engine is though that even though different entries, for example, our pages in our portfolio have very different custom fields, the way we set up and call them is all the same, no matter what channel it is this format is used. So in this case though, we're going to have channel, the channel will be portfolio. The URI title we're not going to use because in this case we want to display a number of um, all of the different possible portfolio pieces that we have. Instead of on the pages, we want to specify and say just get this one entry and display it. Below here, we're going to have as many as we can, or as many as there are, displayed. So we know that we have the portfolio channel set up, and we have portfolio channel fields, and we can begin swapping out some of this hard-coded or dummy link data for the actual dynamic content. So for href, this is going to be portfolio link. The title is going to be the title of the actual portfolio piece that we entered, and then portfolio link again. And this graphic is still working, but we'll replace this with portfolio thumbnail. And we're going to end up adding a few more extra parameters here to get it to look exactly how we want and behave exactly how we want. For now, let's just go check this in the template and see how it looks. Alright, so this is still static content. If we go ahead and refresh it, notice it looks like we still have one image that's not replaced, but it's getting there. So we'll go back, um, update that one graphic, and then um, we'll jump back in and finish coding out the template. It's example four. All right, nice thing about dynamic content. There we go, it's working. Now it looks like it's missing or something's a little bit off here and uh, we're gonna update this code a little bit because also in the original template, we had a thin line that was going between them that had an extra cool little feature. Um, going back into our template, let's look at a few more extra parameters that we're going to give to our portfolio channel down here. So let's go and look at the channel entries tag on the Expression Engine user guide. Again, this is the main um, Expression Engine tag that's used to get channel content. Um, and we've used this once before, we're using it now. And um, from here we can get to the parameters, which are all of the different um, options that we have available to us. And let's look at a few more that we're going to use here.
Um, we have the disable already set up and we have the cha channel set up. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that dynamic is set to no. And what dynamic does is uses the URL title um, or the URL segment to match against URL titles in the database that, that you've set via the control panel. And we don't want that to happen. And something that happens um, often is that you have a URL title at the top and it's it's working with custom content or um, determining what page um, content should show up and then you have other dynamic content oftentimes in a sidebar maybe you have blog entries listed in a sidebar and if there's extra URL segments that could throw off your other expression engine calls if you don't specify dynamic equals no so anytime we're in a situation where we have some static content up top or we have some um, page content up top and then other dynamic content below we want to set um, dynamic equal to no. You can see that there's a lot of options here. Um, order by, we're going to order by title as opposed to date which it does by default but we just want to organize these um, according alphabetically. And then we're going to use the sort feature to say um, that we want to sort ascending so we'll start with the um, lowest one and then it will work its way up to the top. So let's go ahead and add these few back into our portfolio template. We'll say sort ascending, and then we'll say dynamic is equal to no. If you're coming from Expression Engine 1.x, it used to be dynamic equal to off. In Expression Engine 2, it's dynamic equal to no. Let's go ahead and just update this little bit and go back and look at our page. We can see, all right, now it's in order, but this is thrown off. And the reason this is is because, in the, as I said, um, there should be an HR tag right after this third example. Now, a very cool thing that we can do in Expression Engine is run conditional statements. Um, within a loop to determine if um, in that loop we want to do something extra. And the way we, d we determine what conditional variables we could run is um, we have conditional variables and they can all be determined according to these single variables. So for example, we could say if the author is equal to so and so, then do the following. If the channel is pages, then do the following. Um, <clears throat> we could also say if the count is x, do y. So what we really want here is if it's the third one, after the third one we want to put an HR tag. So <clears throat> we could write a conditional statement that says if count is equal to three, then display an HR tag. And that's what we're going to do here in our template. After section tag, we're going to put in a conditional that says if count is equal to three. Just put an HR tag. And if we update that, that one little difference, there we go. And that's pretty cool. So we have example, let's link into example one, um, example four to example four, and let's just test this. If we went in, well, we know that it's um, dynamic because we've, we, we saw the one off example, but if we changed example one to example 100, we said submit, notice that that is updating here. So we now have our portfolio content dynamic, and you could see how easy it will be the next time you have a project. Enter in the title, upload a quick pic, send a link, and there you go, your portfolio site is up to date looking nice. So we're pretty much done with this. The last little section of our site that we have to finish here is our contact page. So in the next uh, couple videos, we will look at how to get our form up and running and look at what we are going to do with our um, contact information on the side here.